Hey y'all, I'm Angela Brittany and welcome back to another video. So, like two, three videos ago, I told you guys that I was going to upload a sulfate free video of the shampoos that I recommend. Now, I know I usually use sulfate shampoos, but these are some of the sulfate free shampoos that I have tried. Some of these are actually from recently that I tried. Um, I'm gonna get to those. And um, like I said, my go-tos are sulfate shampoos because you know what I'm saying, they make my hair feel clean and they do not dry my hair out at all. So, but I mean, these don't either that I have that I tried, but I would choose the sulfate shampoos over these, y'all. So, like I said, these are just some that I recommend if you have 3B hair and, you know what I'm saying, you, or, you know, 3B texture or close to it, and, you know what I'm saying, you are looking for some sulfate-free shampoos, these are the ones that I recommend. So, make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video, and let's go ahead and get into it. So the first one I had written down was the Cantu Shea Butter um, Tea Tree and Jehovah Hair Oil Shampoo. This one made my hair feel so soft when I used it. I actually haven't used this for like months, months ago actually. Like it's really cheap. I think I got it from Target for like four or five dollars. That's really cheap for sulfate-free shampoos, y'all. So if you know, you know. Like sulfate-free shampoos can be expensive. There was one brand I actually tried, but I don't really recommend it. But it was As I Am products. Those are kind of expensive. They're like eleven dollars. The bottle was like maybe like that big, that big. And I tried it. And that was the worst eleven dollars I ever spent. I threw the whole bottle away. Like so many people was recommending me As I Am products. Maybe I need to try the oil because I heard they have some oil that I need to, I want to try. I want to try that one, but anyways, the Cantu Shea Butter, um, I recommend this one most definitely. It does not, it did not dry my hair out at all and it is sulfate free, so yeah. So the next one on my list that I also recommend is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus curl and shine shampoo i do have a curly texture like to my hair it's like curly and wavy but it's really curly like after i wash it and let it sit it's curly so i 100 percent recommend this one most definitely it smells really good and i think i only got this um for like I want to say eight dollars i want to say around eight dollars at target most definitely y'all target is my shopping space for hair products but i got this from target for like eight dollars and you know what i'm saying i really recommend this one as well um the bottle is small though like shea moisture gotta give us some bigger bottles because no man these little bottles don't be doing nothing for my head it'll last me maybe about a month and that's it but i gotta have me some shampoo that's gonna last longer than that you know what i'm saying as much as i wash my hair like every two weeks i gotta have this will last me for two washes at most so and my hair is thick my hair ain't thin so we gotta have some bigger bottles so so the next one i have on my list y'all i have like a this one's really short because i don't i didn't really use that many sulfate free shampoos like for one they're hard to find two they don't really work on my hair and three you know i just don't recommend like i don't really be looking anyways like <laughs> to be honest with y'all i don't really be looking i get what i know works for my hair and i just go i don't be sitting there searching like oh my god this got sulfate in it i don't think i need it but i actually need the sulfate so so the next one is the garnier Fructis curl nourish um shampoo now this is really cheap i get this one from you know you need it from dollar general walmart and i think it's about six dollars but um honestly this I, I would recommend the shampoo and i would i wouldn't because it's not going to work unless you like deep condition your hair i'll put this on and my hair still feels dry but after i deep condition it like it smells good and you know what i'm saying i guess it's doing its job but 
if I use it by itself, my hair, I guess my hair doesn't like it, like it never has. I used this about three times and my hair never liked it. Like when I just don't chase it with deep conditioner, my hair just doesn't like it. So I would recommend using deep conditioner if you're going to get this one. But you know what I'm saying? It's just one of the ones that I tried and I would recommend it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's hair is different. So maybe my hair just didn't like it after before, like deep condition or whatever. So maybe you guys can try it and you know let me know how it went for you if you have tried it and you know what I'm saying let other people know the next ones on my list is the OGX um, shampoos now I put both uh, I put two OGX shampoos on here and it is the argan oil and the other one is the coconut milk shampoo now when i have like wigs or something i will use these all the time you know what i'm saying they make the wigs i don't even have to use conditioner on the wigs i use these shampoos and they work magic y'all so and i know some people say you're supposed to wash wigs with conditioner but to be honest i wash my my wigs with shampoos you know what i'm saying but i mean do you but i wash my wigs with shampoos these shampoos actually work good on my hair as well um the only thing i do not like is that my hair does not feel like it's clean after i use it like it feels like i just threw water on top of my head and just called it a day so that's really what i wanted to tell you guys about these like they work magic on my hair like they make my hair so soft so i most definitely recommend the ogx products so that will be the end of my video Make sure you guys like and subscribe like always and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.